Unlike many resort owners on Lake Mille Lacs, Garrison sports owner Kerry Huff fully supports the DNR's current catch and release rule for walleye. It's good. It's real good. Okay. We've got fabulous fishing. And it's got to be from something. The DNR has new indications the walleye numbers are up. They just finished the field work for a comprehensive walleye study. In May, they tagged 20,000 walleye, 14 inches and bigger. Then they came back and pulled in gill nets to count the fish. The ratio of tagged walleye to non-tagged walleye will help them know how many total walleye are in the lake. Yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel good about it. Brad Parsons, who next week takes over as the DNR's fisheries chief, says they're still working on the final numbers, but so far they look very good. It's definitely going to be higher than it was before, and I'm sure it'll be over 500,000. If those numbers hold up, it would mean there are at least twice as many walleye in Lake Mille Lacs as 2014, the last time they did a study like this. But that would still be far less than the 1.1 million counted in 2002. The DNR blames invasive species like zebra mussels and climate change for affecting the walleye count. Parsons says the lake has a high number of walleye born in 2013, and now that they are fully grown, it's helping the overall count. That's the issue we've had in Mille Lacs is survival of little fish to being bigger fish. That has dropped in the past 10 years pretty, pretty substantially. And so that's what we need to see turn around. If there are signs of a turnaround, next year the catch and release rule could be reversed. Obviously, business-wise, it's more important to keep fish. The DNR will have the full estimates from this study finished by this fall when they do their annual assessment. Then that number will help determine whether people can keep the walleye they catch next summer. On Lake Mille Lacs, Lou Raguse, Care 11 News.